It means to control the thinking process, behavior, emotions and decisions of a person through psychological, physical or paranormal means. It also means to reduce one's ability to think critically and independently, in order to allow the introduction of new unwanted thoughts and ideas into his mind, and to change his attitudes, values and beliefs. And so today, these hybrid bloodlines are known as the Illuminati, the Illuminated Ones, and they're the ones that control the transnational corporations, governments, the banking system, the whole shebang that um, dictates and uh, controls the direction of society. More of that later. And the idea, of course, because compared with the global population, there's very few of these people. The idea is to enslave the rest of humanity in that vibrational prison I've been talking about so the few can control the vast majority. We were being prepared for something. Our minds were being prepared for something. This does not happen by chance. And we, the innocent people, trying to look at the world and trying to understand what is going on, we see everything is moving toward one world state. Market segmentation is a terminology in economics which refers to the process of dividing a society into groups or segments, based on different characteristics. The segments created are composed of customers who will respond similarly to the marketing strategies and who share traits such as similar interests, needs and locations. Now exactly same as the case with our society today. The elite masses are segmenting the society and providing specific programs for each and every segment of the society. And this segmentation process is done according to their differences, according to their gender, their ages, their standard of living, their nations, their countries, their needs, their interests, and according to their level of understanding. So they have segmented the society and are controlling the people. And the weapon they are using is in your own houses, even in your own pockets. There's a reason for this. There's a reason education sucks. And it's the same reason that it will never, ever, ever be fixed. It's never going to get any better. Don't look for it. Be happy with what you got. Because the owners of this country don't want that. I'm talking about the real owners now. The big, re the wealthy... That the real owners, the big wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Forget the politicians. They're, they're, they're an irrelevant. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. They got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media, media news, all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They, they spend billions of dollars every year lobbying, lobbying to get what they want. You can't handle the truth. Son, we live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. We see people talking about the Freemason Order, the Illuminati, the international bankers, the Zionists, alien consciousness. Even some groups are coming up, satanic type groups, new age type religions. All of these coming up, and what we find in most cases is that all of these groups are worshiping a force. If you go to the highest level of these groups, you see they are doing a type of worship. It is not to God. 
It is not the God of Moses or Jesus or Muhammad, peace be upon them. It is another force. And they are worshiping this force. They are seeking and taking strength out of this force. Allah tells us, Ash-shaytan ya'idukum al-faqa wa ya'murukum bil-fahsha. That he will threaten you with poverty. And he commands you with immorality, with corruption. He commands you with this. And so we see certain themes. Put these themes in your mind. When you think about the international system, what are the foundations of the system that we are all living under? The fear of poverty, evil, corruption. Look at the categories that are in front of us. Evil. Go to the movie and see. The hero of half the, of the movies is a criminal. The thieves and the bandits are now the heroes that people, young people especially, are idolizing. Look at the music. Look at the expression coming out of the anarchy and the music in the younger generation. Then look at now the world. Immorality. And then you see it in the movies, you see it in the programs. And some of our own Muslims are watching, especially sisters are watching during the day, they watch Days of Our Life and soap operas and you know, who's sleeping with whose neighbor and stuff like that. And, and then they even tape the program. They tape the program so they can see it when they come home. Do you know what I'm talking about? 
Matrix. Do you want to know what it is? The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. Even now in this very room. You can see it when you look out your window or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind.